are going to make an adventurous trip this time and this one is from our bucket list. We have started our journey from Yon Shopping to Arvet Siao Omeo and um, our plan is to uh, explore the Northern Arctic Circle in Sweden and we're gonna make it hopefully within next three days. So uh, one thing I need to mention that I am so excited about the Lapland trip and uh, I'm going to giving more details to you uh, later on but from now uh, I need to mention one more thing that we are expecting northern light also um, I don't know we're gonna make it or not because it depends totally on luck of course and we need to have a clear sky so a lot of ifs so I don't know we're gonna make it or not that's a bonus anyways so stay tuned and enjoy the journey with us town of northern Sweden. This city is well known for the large number of birch trees. You can see everywhere. It's everywhere. So <laughs> this city is uh, this city has the largest locality in Norland and the 13th largest in whole Sweden with approximately 18, uh, 89,607 inhabitants back in 2019. So January is the coldest month in Humio city and guess what, we are here now in coldest month, it's January. So we are enjoying the extreme winter in Sweden now. So uh, the, in recent days, uh, the highest degree temperature which is recorded in, uh, in Humio is 9 degrees Celsius. And the lowest recorded temperature in Umeå is minus 35 degrees Celsius. Yes, you heard me right. Minus 35 degrees. <laughs> so now we can imagine why this city is so popular for winter tourism. Let's go. University now and on my right side this is research center uh, of medical and uh, when this university was established in 1965 growth accelerated the amount of housing has been doubled in last 30 years 
Umia is a university town and a center of education, technical and medical research in northern Sweden. And over enrolled um, approximately 39,000 students back in 2019. So uh, this university was awarded 2020 Nobel Prize in chemistry. So that's all about this university. We will explore a little bit around now. So till then, bye. Hi again. This town, Umiya, is situated on the bank of a river. You can see the river is here and it's totally frozen. <laughs> Now I'm going to talking about the accommodation in Umio. You can find hotels and Airbnb for staying here. We prefer always to stay in Airbnb rather than staying in a hotel because we it's very comfortable for us to have our own apartment by ourselves rather than staying in a room in a hotel. So uh, we are currently staying in, in a beautiful cottage by our own and it's just around 20 kilometers from Umio city center and it's just right by the river which is frozen now you can see our beautiful house here there it is and uh, Airbnb usually costs around 600 to 900 for uh, 600 to 900 Swedish crown for two people um, it depends actually uh, on the location or how are you preferring your facilities and amenities and other things inside the house so it always very variable so that's all about staying and accommodation in Umio it's very uh, available rather uh, whether you are finding inside the city or just outside the city or in a countryside even
here there are a lot of winter activities for the tourists especially or even the local people just because of the heavy snowfall in this north part so there you can find some uh, fun and exciting adventurous activity over here like you can do you can go for a snowmobile surfing ice skating skiing snowboarding um, ice fishing and also which is one of our most favorite activity is dog sledging we did that already and uh, this is all about Umia activity you can find you can go to any near office uh, for tourism or contact to any person or even you can google it so you will find a lot of varieties winter activity for even the beginners who never did it before they can also very um, excitingly they can do that This was the end of our trip in Omeo. We are taking some goosebumping moments and thrilling adventures with us. It will be an unforgettable memory. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed our video. Please do subscribe our channel for our next adventurous trip. See you next time. Bye.